it's Trixie and I hate to bring it to you, but the lovely Christmas time is over. Cozy evenings, candles, Christmas markets, ugly Christmas sweaters, sweets, candy and amazing Christmas meals. All that's in the past. But eh, just 340 days and it starts all over again. Talking about food. I bet I'm not the only one that misses the Christmas gluttony. And even though Christmas is over, I still find myself dreaming. Dreaming of gingerbread pudding and candy cones, of mashed potatoes and ham and roast turkey. And there it is. Then I feel it. Appetite. This huge, unbearably strong appetite. So in memory and in honor of all the nice, delicious sweets that we have enjoyed during the last month, the topic of today's episode is going to be being hungry. More precisely, the German words for it. So let's start with the obvious, the most commonly used word in German. Hunger. Der Hunger. It's simply the feeling of being hungry. And I'm using this weird translation because the German Hunger is not quite the same as the English Hunger. Hunger seems to be more general and overall tragic. It can be used for an intense longing or even for a famine or starvation. And both interpretations don't really match a normal person's casual appetite, unless you're trying to be super dramatic. Der Hunger can be applied to different things in German too, but it's not the first association. Also, other than in English, Germans mostly say ich habe Hunger, I've got hunger or appetite. Sure, there is ich bin hungrig, I'm hungry as well, but I personally not say that. I'd say ich habe Hunger most of the time. Compared to Hunger, der Appetit, the appetite, describes this feeling of yeah, I could eat something. I don't have to, but I wouldn't say no, you know? A small something, maybe. More for the taste's sake. Chocolates, a slice of cheese, a cookie, some crisps would be nice, or cereal. Yep, yeah, pretty much in this order, I guess. You know, the typical sweet, salty, 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 sweet, kind of thing. Some people, including me, pretty much always feel some sort of appetite. How are you doing? <laughs> I even have a hair in my mouth now, which kind of proves the point. Unless I'm suffering from a stomach flu or pregnancy morning sickness, I could eat a little something at any time. So yeah, appetite, der appetit, is like the physically unnecessary but comfort food kind of being hungry. Now here are some region-related terms for the feeling of being hungry. So chances are high that even if you are a German, you will not recognize all of them. Which basically means that you are sharing redundant information with foreigners that will not help them learn German at all? No, it means that everyone can learn something from this video, even Germans. It's only gonna be four words, so bear with me, okay? First up, Schmacht haben. Schmacht is related to some old middle high and middle low German words, meaning big appetite, thirst or deprivation. <clears throat> yes, hi and low German. It comes from the upside down, okay? Many Germans may know the verb schmachten, which this is connected to. It means to admire or to long for something. I personally only know it in the context of eating, but its origin tells you that it is a more general term describing desire. And to be honest, doesn't it sound beautiful and romantic? Schmacht hard melting. However, online I found that many people also use it when they are talking about cigarettes. Ey, kommst du mit? Ich hab voll Schmacht auf ne Kippe. But on this note, Rauchen ist voll doll ungesund, ihr solltet das nicht machen, esst lieber Erdbeerkäse. Next up, Gelüste, which means cravings or again desire. In some regions it's also applied to feeling hungry, and you'll most likely hear it spoken in a dialect. Klüst or Klischte. Then there is einen Jipa or einen Gipa auf etwas haben. That's an old low German term, and it describes this sparkle of appetite for a very specific thing. Oh, ich habe einen Jeepa auf Schokolade mit Haselnüssen. Oder auf diese Chips mit Currywurstgeschmack. Only in Germany. And even there, no one ever. Wow, ich habe gerade einen Jeepa auf Hände. Karl, nicht schon wieder. Another word that works the same way is Jap. Boah, ich habe so einen Jap auf... Insert very specific and tasty thing here. Boah, ich habe so einen Jab auf Erdnussflips. 
I know Yap from my childhood, but I only found it on a handful of websites online, so it seems to be pretty rare and uncommon. Have you heard about this? Do you use it sometimes? Then if possible, provide us with a bit of background information, because I couldn't find anything. But enough with these region-related terms that not all of you may know. Let's talk about four more very funny words. Firstly, der Kohldampf. If you take this word apart, you may think that Kohldampf comes from die Kohle or der Kohl, the coal or the cabbage, and der Dampf, the steam. But the word actually derives from Rotwisch or German Gaunersprache, literally meaning criminal language, a secret language that, for example, thieves used. Koller and Dampf were slang words for appetite, so when you were really, really hungry, you used both to express that. Koller, Dampf, Kohldampf. Now, three words that also describe three different stages of madness when it comes to being hungry. Let's start with Heißhunger, meaning hot appetite or feeling hot hungry. It's this intense appetite that burns like fire and you are on fire, shoveling all this nice tasty food into your mouth. It's the stage where you burn your fingers and your tongue because you cannot wait for the food to calm down. Calm down. Calm down, food. It's okay. It's, it's gonna be okay. Because you can't wait for the food to cool down. And you don't even care. Because your appetite is much hotter than everything you're eating. So Heißhunger is already pretty strong and extreme. If you don't satisfy it, you are not longer yourself. You turn into a monster. Or what about a huge, aggressive, furry grizzly bear? At least that's according to the German language, because the next level is der Bärenhunger, the bear appetite or the feeling of being bear hungry. People with Bärenhunger look at food the same way that mommy bear looks at anybody coming too close to her lovely bear cubs. She is not going to hesitate to tear the enemy apart with her teeth and claws. Still not frightening enough? If you don't give the bloodthirsty bear inside of you what it wants, you may end up going on a killing spree, knocking everybody down that dares to stand between you and your food. This is my baked potato with sour cream. You will pay for that. Boom! Fatality. You think I'm exaggerating? Well, the word I'm talking about is der Mordshunger, the murder appetite or feeling murder hungry. So the German language basically legitimizes killing for food. First you are on fire, then you become a bear and eventually a murderer. That sounds like a cool plot for a movie, doesn't it? Now, to make you remember the seven stages of feeling hungry in German, I'm going to demonstrate all of them with the help of this cucumber. And what do you for a living? Oh, I'm a YouTuber. I'll talk about culture and language related things on YouTube. And sometimes I eat a cucumber like a maniac. I admit that was 
crazy. All right, rabbits, I hope this video was both helpful and entertaining for you. If so, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really, really happy. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And here is a video that you should definitely check out. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more videos like this one. And if you want to support my channel even a bit more, you can also find me on Patreon. I would really appreciate your help. Now the cucumber and I wish you all a wonderful day. Until next time, Bye!